Alright guys, here's a little video of um, my stuff. Let's start off with my aerial tube. Here's my mortar tube. Um, it's about a foot and three-fourths long, or actually a foot and one-fourth, I mean. It came off a rock band set. It is. It used to be see-through, but I plugged back with a thick piece of aluminum and hot glue around all the little air holes so no air can get out. So the lift will be pushing against basically nothing, so it will come out. Here is my other tube to um, shove it down the aerial shell. Shove it down the bigger tube and as you can see if I ever make little shells I can shoot them out of this and I just if I have a little area shell I just put it in there push it down and pull it out you see how it fits in like perfectly right there and here's my old crappy BP well, it's not really crafty, but here's my new BP. You can see there's a lot more in that one than there is in that one because I just got that milling. Here's my aerial shell. It's packed with about three grams of my new awesome lift power. And yes, look at this aerial shell fuse. I got some aerial shell fuse going to the lift all the way to about here where I connected some Chinese 1.8 millimeter visco for purposes so I can get back and videotape this because I'm putting this one on YouTube. I'm pretty sure it's going to do good. Because right here, as you can see, fits in there nice and tight. It's not really any space. Um, this is another blank shell. It is just packed with aluminum all the way down to the lift. Just testing out my aero fuse and my lift to my mortar. The shell is actually these little tubes right here. Pretty good. I got them at school. My health teacher didn't need them for wrapping up football players, so I just took some. They're like perfect fit, as you can see, without anything. They fit pretty nice, but when you wrap them, they fit awesome. And you've already seen my fuse. Here's my drawer. It's got a lot of stuff. Here's my scale, my fork, my lighter, scissors, toe holes for the fuse, this little thing, my legendary spoon. I use it for everything. Let me shoot this layer off. It's the same size, just bigger. Um, my old mixing cup when I was just starting out got a little dextrin on the side. My sifter or sieve. Uh, and my I got a thing tracing paper right here. Um, my lift backs and my tape. Some of my visco. Now here get the aerial. Ran wrapping. And the floor one right here is my bag of stars. Oh crap. Wow, blooper number one. I was gay. Whatever. I'll start packing these soon. But, uh, got some, got a lot of stars, about 140 in there. This is my old torch that you see in all my other videos. It is broken. Somebody sat on it on my bed. Wow. And here is the granulation paper that I sift everything on to let it dry. It's really big, really big. And right here is where I keep my charcoal, the potassium nitrate down there. Right here, sulfur and then dextrin. Yeah. So there's my stuff. Hope you enjoy and 
We'll be shooting the aerial very soon, so keep a look out for that. My boy X Chadley, you know it's coming, you know it's coming, you know it's coming. Oh, oh yeah, here's my ball mill. Forgot to tell y'all about this. My ball mill. Here's my dowel to ram stuff down in. Hot glue gun. Yeah, I'm milling some black powder. This thing's crazy. Right here, fill a bag of potassium nitrate. Just using that. Here are my lead balls. Got about 75 in there. Good nice bag. There you go. Hope you liked my stuff. Yep. So yeah, I got a big workshop going on, I guess. <laughs> Peace out.